Oh, the first of today's Moore's Millions is next in. This is a three or two furlong version. And the top one is Shemadal Phantom for Thomas Rogers, Alpi Cat for Darren Thompson, Merrill's Golly, Daniel French, Kaida Carla, James Shea, Mel Valana, Saw, or Hems, Plainly Dangerous Martin Lidham, Lost Poet Craig Beck with Amelie Farley, Chrome Clutterbuck, Anglo Saxon, Paul Rhodes, Cashback, Alex Cherry, Delorraine, Ryan Costello, and Robin Fays for Martin Lidham. So they're called in, and away they go. Sure, what leg number this is, but quite a few. There's normally two of these each week, and this a shorter one and a longer one. This shorter one today is only three mile two as they take the first, which is probably as short as they get, I would think. And Lost Poet is the early leader, normally around the three mile five mark. These shorter ones, well, the final's definitely three mile five, the longer one, normally around about four miles, four miles something. And the final is four mile three, the same as the Grand National. So it's Lost Poet in the lead, and the finals, of course, are both run over those Grand National fences at Aintree on the final week of the season. So Lost Poet's in the lead then. I think the first four qualified. And they take the second, and they're all over that one safely with Lost Poet in front. From Robin Fay's second, Merrill's Golly's third, and Alpi Cat fourth. Took him behind them, Kaida Carla in the green jacket, and a gap of a lintel to, to Anglo Saxon. and. Emily Farley, as they take that next one. All safely over that one. Shamadal Phantom in the green just moving up a little bit. And behind that one, Delorraine. A purple jacketed, plainly dangerous on the outside as they take the fourth. Oh, and there's a fauna there. Delorraine's gone. So Delorraine is ebbed of the race. And Lost Poet continues to show the way by a good six lengths to Robin Fay's second. Kaida Carla's moved through nicely to third now. Merrill's Golly in the red jacket on the inside is fourth. The white sleeves of Alpicat closest to us in fifth. And cashbacks after that one as they take the fifth. And a couple of shaky jumps there, most notably Kaida Carla and Amelie Farley, who are both pretty untidy. The lost Poet is clear and set at a good stiff pace as they take this ditch. And there's another one down, Plainly Dangerous has gone, so Plainly Dangerous plainly isn't that dangerous at the moment because he's getting rid of the jockey on a regular basis at the moment. Uh, Lost Poet continues to lead. Oh, five or six to Robin Fays in second. And Merrill's Golly, Kaida, Kaida and Alpi Cat. They're leading five throughout really. Then Cashbacks after that one, Shemadal Phantom on the outside of Anglo-Saxon. Bit of a gap back to Amelie Farley and then finally Melvana Saw, or Mevlana Saw, as they take the seventh. Back mark had just been maybe hampered a little bit by the loose horse, just blocking him into the rail. There's still a long old way to go, just inside the final two miles then. And Lost Poet comes past the big screen there, and past the winning post. is in the lead. Lead down to about four now though. Robin Fays has moved through into second with Merrill's Golly and Kaida Carla. And Alpi Cat as they take the next. Good chop there by Merrill's Golly. You've seen that one and jump into second place. Robin Fays now back into third. And Kaida Carla and Alpi Cat. Shemadal Phantom and Anglo Saxon still together. Cashback's the one that's moving forward and then dropping back Not regularly. Mevlana saw is still the back marker, but oh, there's another one down. There's another faller, and Shambadal Phantom's gone this time. Uh, it seemed to be going reasonably well as well. It just didn't take off and crashed through the fence. And is the latest departee. So three down. And they take this next one. Good jump there by Kaida Carla. Seeing that one jump into the lead. Lost Poet being struggled along to try and get back in front. Obviously, that one likes to show the way home. Got back in front by a length as they take that ditch. Good jump again by Kaida Carter. Alpi Cat's now third. Robin Fays is fourth. Merrill's gone. He's just dropped back a little bit to fifth. Anglo Saxon getting closer. Then cash back Emily Farley and Mevlana saw the field. And now only about 12 lengths apart. First to last. It's wide open this one. As they make their way towards the next. And Lost Poet has opened up again by a good two to three. Kaida Kaila, Alpi Cat, Merrill's Golly. They take the next one. All safely over that one and getting even tightly a group now. 
and there will be four. And lost poet by a couple. So kind of color on Albicat. Then Anglo Saxon moving through nicely. Merrill's got his next robin phase on the inside, just being hurried along to keep his place as they take that next one. Cashback's trying to move up on the inside. Amelie Farley's moving around the outside. Mevlana Sword still got the field inside. Eight lengths first, the last now, I would say. And Lost Poet comes to this 14th and takes it in the lead. Only three more to jump in there. And Anglo Saxon makes a forward move. Alpi Cat hits the front. Alpi Cat on the outside of Lost Poet. Anglo Saxon. Kaida Carlin and might now get trapped in a bit. Amelie Farley is going exceptionally well. Then comes Cashback. Merrill's Golly and Robin Faze have dropped out of it. Mevlana Saw is trying to get into it. It's wide open this with five furlongs to go. And Lost Poet on the inside. Anglo-Saxon on the outside. Take this third last. And over that one, a good jump by Merrill's Golly, who's now got back up into the lead. This is a ding-dong battle race. This one, and Merrill's Golly is now three-quarters of a length in front. So Anglo-Saxon in second. Al Picat is third. Then Lost Poet and Amelie Farley. Then Kaida Carla. Melvana Saw into it over the final ditch. That's a second last. And it's Merrill's Golly in the lead. Merrill's Golly, Al Picat, and Anglo-Saxon being chased by Mevlana Saw. They swing towards home. They've still got three furlongs to race, but they've only got one more fence to take. And it's Al Picat on the inside in the white sleeves who's about a length up on Anglo-Saxon Merrill's got him Mevlana saw still looks to be going best of a lot of them then Amelie Farley behind him in fifth he's trying to run on they're coming down towards his final fence then and it's Alpi Cat in front from Mevlana Saw in second over the final fence they go Mills Golly made a mistake great jump by the leader and Alpi Cat races into the final furlong with a leader of about two and a half lengths he's pulling away now Alpi Cat Alpi Cat by three from Mevlana Saw in second and Amelie Farley in third and they race up towards the line and Alpi Cat's going to take the first leg of the Moors Williams qualifiers this week with Mevlana Saw second and Amelie Farley third and Anglo Saxon fourth and then Kyder Carr and Cashback and the long time leader Lost Poet will trail in last and it's a win for Alpicat. Or oh, Darren Thompson put that race to bed over the final fence and pulled away. Mevlana saw in a good race in second. Amelie Farley flattered to deceive up the up the straight, really. Only managing third, but Alpicat wins it for Darren Thompson. Mevlana saw for Hems is second. Amelie Farley for Graham Clusbuck third. Anglo Saxon Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Kaida Carla for James Shea was fifth. <laughs>